Two all know that light has dual nature. One is particle and another one is wave. Likewise, electron also has the dual nature. For a particle, we can easily find its position but not the momentum. And for the wave, we can find its momentum but not the position. By that, we are all made up of matter and matter is made up of atoms and atoms are made up of protons, electrons and neutrons. Electron has the wave nature, then we should also possess the wave nature. Thereby, I should be standing all over the screen right now. But I am not. Why? The answer can be only given by the term quantum physics. I am Lenin from 3rd BSc Physics. Welcome to my presentation. Before we go to uncertainty principle, we need to know some basic concepts to understand the principle. At first, we need to know about the electron duality by doing double slit experiment. In front of your screen, I place two slits. At first, I throw balls through the slits and it falls on, on a wall which is on the other side. The ball hits on the wall will be in the shape of a slit where, the, where it is a particle in nature. Then instead of ball, let us shoot some electrons one by one through the slit. Here the electron is uh, different. It is similar to a wave. When we put a stone in a water, it produces waves. Then we insert the double slit before the wave. So it forms a pattern which is exactly as the electron pattern which assures that the electron acts as a wave. So we can confirm that a particle acts like a wave. Once a man performing a thought experiment that he want to measure both the position and the velocity of an electron. The most direct way of measuring where something is to shine light on it. And from the reflected light we can calculate its position. So he fired a photon on an electron to figure out the position of an electron. But the electron moved away because the photon has high energy. Radio waves have the longest wavelength. So they can capture images of stars and planets, but they are not well at capturing small distance objects. If it captured, it would be a blurred image. To get a clear image, we must reduce its wavelength. So he wants a clear image of an electron. Then he needs to decrease the wavelength of the photon to thousandth of the millimeter. By this equation, if E is equal to uh, hc by lambda energy is the indirectly proportional of the wavelength if wavelength gets smaller then the energy gets bigger if we reduce the wavelength photon gets higher energy and hits the electron too hard and moves it if we hit the electron with the photon with low energy and hit again we can get an idea of velocity calculated by distance moved by time and momentum but the image will be blurred, so we can't find its position. It's confusing, right? He couldn't get information about one without losing the other one's information. So he couldn't find it how. Okay then, we can find this in an another way by using the Broglie's wavelength equation. Well, wavelength is equal to Planck's constant by momentum. If we interchange, momentum is equal to Planck's constant by wavelength. So we know that momentum of a particle can be found by knowing its wavelength of the wave. This is what I explained during the double slit experiment. We represent the electron's wavelength by an infinite long sine wave. The area under the curve shows the probability of an electron present there. So we have no idea of where it will be. But waves have a special property. That is, when we add more waves, together they interfere and create a new wave this is called wave pattern so here the electron is much more localized but this wave is made up of some of lot of different wavelengths i told that wavelength and momentum are interchangeable so we don't have one momentum value we have more momentum but getting the information of the position we lost the information of the momentum so he gave a principle called uncertainty principle. Here 
the delta represents the uncertainty and x is the position and p is the momentum the uncertainty in position and uncertainty in momentum are always greater than or equal to the constant here where the constant is very low but it is greater than zero basically we can never measure the position and the momentum of an object to 100 percent accuracy so we have to have some uncertainty somewhere this was explained by heisenberg sorry sorry not this heisenberg werner heisenberg who won nobel prize for the quantum physics sorry i forgot to answer the question which i asked earlier that if an electron acts as a wave then we should also act as a wave but not to find that we should find the wavelength so we have to know the about the de broglie equation which i had said earlier lambda is equal to h by p where lambda is the wavelength and h is the planck constant and p is the momentum which is mass into velocity if you have the mass of 60 kg and moving at the speed of 10 km per hour okay while you substitute in this equation we get this the particle which are so small have high wavelength so that only the particle acts like a wave okay the final question i have not yet find the exact position of an electron or a particle then how we can find that position of a particle the answer is can be only given by schrodinger's wave equation